Hey everybody, welcome back to Gomer Plays The Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Last time we took on level 6, hello Manhandla, I'm going to bomb you now. Uh, we took on levels 6 and 7, knocked them both out. They were kind of anticlimactic, weren't they? But that's okay, we now have Manhandla, who is running around, like three of its heads are cut off. Wait, it kind of what? They kind of were? Ow. This is what I get for not getting the magic shield. I might try and get that before I hit level 9. Um, what I'm hoping to do is finish up the first quest today. And then I can start on other projects. <laughs> uh, don't worry, the second quest will be coming. It's just I've got other projects that I need to work on as well. Yeah, damn fucking bubbles. Motherfucking... Oh, yes! Give me the clock! So what I've heard is the stopwatch actually makes a comeback in Hyrule Warriors, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, so it's, that's one of those games I really... Get up there really want to try and play. Uh, I don't have my own Wii U. I've, I, I've, you know, we've got a Wii U here, but it's my mother's. <laughs> um, but I do want to get my own Wii U at some point, so I can you know, hook it up to something. And hell, it would make doing videos like this, at least for certain games, a little easier. Because you can just look at the little pad, and then, hey, there you go. But, uh, but it doesn't look good when it's on, when you have the camera on you, though, so huh. maybe, maybe doing it this way is probably the best. Uh, Manhandle at number two! Yeah, I got a preview. I got I got to look at some of the uh, dungeons for uh, the second quest, because I haven't done it in a while. Holy shit, some places have, like, several bosses in one, like, like all in one. Oh, shit. You know, this is, this is one of the major reasons why getting the uh, magic key early, like, as in before you even beat the first dungeon, is such a pain in the ass. It's these guys. Right now I have, you know, blue ring, not a problem. Magic sword, not a problem. Blink! I don't even know what I picked up. <laughs> Maybe it was more bombs, I don't know. But anyway... No, it was not more bombs. I guess I just picked up a heart that I really needed. I don't know. Weird. Come here. There we go. Come here, Gibdo. Uh, but yeah. I, 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 interestingly enough, Roll Mithril is also doing a 100% run of the second quest. And he's doing pretty well so far. You know, he's doing well for himself. Uh, God damn, another one? Shit, that's like three of them. Eh. There! And this is a lion. There's usually something in the eyes of dungeons like this. This is no exception. Sweet! Uh, so I'm going to use a key. I've got like one key. I can use it to get into the next room. Which is not a problem. This is what level 6's boss battle should have been. A blue goma that takes more than one hit to go down. It takes three hits. But, you know, hey, you can't have them all. Hey, Paul's voice. Sweet! And I happen to have arrows. Oh, look! An arrow! And I'm going to be lynched because... Oh, come on, seriously? Can I... I can't... Can I not hit you? Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, you motherfucker. Um... Let's see if I can bomb him. There we go. <laughs> oh, I would have been pissed if, if I couldn't have gotten to him. Okay. Um. Yay! The magic key. I don't have to worry about buying keys anymore. The fact that I can actually get this, like, before even beating the first level is just amazing. That shows the amount of sequence breaking and exploration you can do in this game. Which is why it was such a goddamn hit back in the day. And it still is. It's a classic. Now to get to the boss, you have to go this way. So that means I have to beat the fuck out of all these guys. Didn't I already, didn't I already play this game? Or... I don't know. Ah! But running into them is not a viable option. So... 
There we go. I have a heart. You have a heart? No, nope, you do not have a heart. Okay. Uh, more you guys. Uh, I kind of want to take out, because why not? <laughs> okay, there we go. At least Gibdos can be stunned with the boomerang. Oh, hey, bombs. Sweet. Ah. Uh, all right. <laughs> Ow, come on. Fucking bats. Oh, hey. Pole's voice. All lined up in a row. I admit, I kind of like seeing Pole's voice all lined up in a row. Just... Boom! You know? <laughs> and the boss room is right above. It's not to the left. It's up. Are we ready to face the boss? The final boss of the main eight dungeons? Are we ready for this? I am. Is fucking floor-headed Gleok. Four heads? Jeebus. I've heard of hacks that put like eight to ten-headed Gleoks in there. Holy ow. Whoa. Okay, didn't quite hit me. Good, good, good. Ow. That hurt. Okay. Kamikaze. There we go. Yay! And he's down. <laughs> uh. Meanwhile, I finally have the complete Triforce of Wisdom. Sweet! And I've got full hearts. I, I believe I've got pretty much everything I'm going to need, except for the magic shield, which I can get en route to level 9. Why did I do that? That's what I get for not switching my weapons back. Ugh. Can I do it without a potion? Should I get a potion or should I get the shield? You know what? I'm going to get the shield. No, I'm going to get the potion. No, I'm going to get the shield. Fuck. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't pay attention, children. You end up using your medicine and having to pay 68 more rupees for it. Ah, well, I needed to, I needed to get another one anyway. So, because it was blue. All right, so level nine. We're going to go to an area we have not been to before, at least in this run. We're going to hit Death Mountain again. We're going to hit the west side of Death Mountain. We've been on the east side, but we're going to the west side. So, we're going to dodge all of these P-hats. Oh. You know, somebody has got to make like a, some kind of animation or something where like, you know, like Ocarina of Time, Young Link comes and, you know, pokes at a P-hat just burrowed in the ground or whatever. And then, like, it cuts to, like, just a random spot on the field later on, and you see him running and screaming <laughs> from the blaze of death. That would be kind of hilarious. <laughs> Stop! And P-Hat stops in midair because, well, of course it does. Now this is known as Spectacle Rock. Gee, I wonder why. But here, at least in the first quest, I wonder what happens if we bomb this. It would be funny if I could bomb this too. Nope. Only one. <laughs> they would both end up leading to the same place anyway. Level 9! The final dungeon! And we're making good time, making good time. So, let's go right on in. Now, normally, if you don't have a complete Triforce when you stumble on in here, there's going to be an old guy stopping you. But that's okay. We don't have to worry about him. Like likes, Zoles, Bubbles. Pretty much every enemy you can think of is going to be in here. Uh, well, at least every dungeon enemy. Um, you know, you're not going to see the overworld enemies. You're not going to, you know, every underworld enemy you're going to see is going to be in here. And here's a new one, Lanmola. Have we seen much of Landmola since this game? I don't remember. But yeah, by the way, the effect of the magic book that I got earlier in this video. Which, by the way, uh, something I did not go over. Um, 
is the fact that in Japan, since uh, Hyrule was meant to be have a religion based on Christianity in, um, in the original Japanese, the magic book was originally a Bible. So basically, Bible gives you fi fire powers in this game. Literally. And like likes. Yeah, there we go. There, there are some disadvantages to having the flame of death come from your uh, magic wand. You know, for one thing, you can walk into fire and hurt yourself, as I've dis as I've demonstrated. But you can also um, it it also renders um, yeah. If if an enemy is um, immune to fire, like these wizard robes, like it it will not hurt them. Ah. So and we don't have to beat every enemy. Hello. I think these guys are called Petras. Petras, Petries, Petri dishes. I don't know. All I know is they go down pretty easily with the sword. <laughs> and I get bombs. Now the way to get to Ganon and you know to to get to the Silver Arrows and you get to Ganon is you go north. Right now I'm going to go south and bomb this wall. You would think I could bomb the next wall up, and I'll see if I can, at least as a proof of concept. But, but I don't think you can. Hey, come here, you little, come here, you little uh, chocolate tars. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Chocolate tars. I don't know. They, they, they look like chocolate drops, but oh, hi. And come on. Can you imagine doing this with a wooden sword, though? Holy shit. Mm. Come on. Hey, get it. Yeah, there we go. And by the way, no... Oh, hey, look. We got a map. This is what the map looks like. It's a fucking skull. Just to drive the point home. Fucking wizard robes. Now, here's another thing. See? Can't bomb it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I gotta be careful. I have been a little reckless. At least one of those fucking bubbles is in there. But the power up that I'm gonna be. Motherfuck! Oh, you motherfucker. Die! Eh. Okay. At least the power-up I'm getting is going to be so worth it. I am so reckless today. But I guess that's a... Oh, there we go. And instant redness! The red ring. You get this only in level 9, both quests. It reduces any all damage you take by... Down to, I think, a quarter. So. So it's a good find. A good send. Yay! Now let's get out of here. <laughs> And get back on the normal path. And of course, there are secrets in both eyes. Both eyes, naturally. Go to the next room. Well, which way is the next room? That way? I've already been there. That must mean this one. Yeah, there's a lot of bombing. It's a good thing I got the bomb upgrade. And then some of these enemies drop bombs. And of course, we're gonna have fucking whiz robes with fucking. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm using some potion right now. Because I don't want my ass to get killed. Good thing I stocked up, huh? Even though it's like only taking half a heart. So, hmm. It's not too bad. Come here. All right. Oh, son of a bitch. Now, next, next stop is getting the silver arrows. Because with the silver arrows, that's what's going to kill Ganon in the end. Hit him a few times with your magic sword. Knock him out with a mat with a uh, silver arrow. 
believe we go this way. Surprise! Bats. Fucking keys. Hey, you get rupees for your trouble, though. Now, I think it's this one. Oh, uh, I, I kind of like... I kind of like that one. They, they don't... You don't, you know, they don't go and widen themselves out like that, you know? Alright, but I think it's this one I take to get to the Silver Arrow. I think. Um, let's see. Whoop. Yeah! Wow, that was impressive. <laughs> yes, it is! Fuck. I hate whiz robes. Whiz robes can kiss all of my ass. And if you've seen it, you know I've... Well, actually, I don't have that much of an ass. There we go. Hey, you gave me bombs. Yay! What's a mage doing with bombs? Uh-oh. Ah, oh, motherfuck. Ah, mother... Ah! Come here! Seriously! Hmm. There we go. Son of a bitch! Such a pain in the ace. Uh-oh. Uh, you know what? I don't care. I don't need the sword right now. Mm -hmm. uh. Ooh, 201. S Silver arrows! Those are required, as far as I know, to be Ganon. At least in the narrative. I don't remember. I think you have to have them in game too, but I don't quite rightly remember. And because I beat those wizard ropes before, I just come right on back through. Hi guys, how you doing? Uh, nice of you to come back and respawn for me. Yeah, that's that's really nice. So, because I can. Um, gotta beat all these fucking like likes. Because where I need to go is over to that left room there. Because going up will take me in a circle. So. Meh. I don't have a magic shield. I don't care. <laughs> mm. Alrighty. Oh. Grab that heart. Alrighty. And, of course, more whiz robes. Naturally, because the game really likes to throw them at you. Although, if I remember right, the second quest throws them at you sooner. So, yeah, you gotta deal with them a little sooner in the second quest. <laughs> oh. Ow. Okay. Gotta remember all the red ones are have have less HP. I believe their blasts are stronger. Holy shit! It's like a breather room. With like likes and souls and well, two bubbles, but yeah, they're bubbles. What are you gonna do? They just take your sword away for a few for a few moments. Alright. And there you go. And there you go. One more floating eyeball. Well, flying eyeball. Fucking, fucking Petra. Come on. And boom, boom, boom. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to face... It, well, it's time to face the piggy. Ha 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 ha! Alright, so Ganon, he's a bit of a dick. Oh, wow, that was weird. Okay. He's like, he not only has teleport, you know, magical invisibility and teleportation powers, he just gotta swing blindly, kinda. Yeah, well, at least unless you're doing, like, a low percent run or whatever. In which case, now, now, boom! Yes! The 
Triforce of Power is mine. It is mine. The power. The unlimited power. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's, let's, let's get Zelda out of here. The only fire you can stab, by the way. But never mind that. Yay! Thanks, Link. You're the hero of Hyrule. You know they did that for spacing issues. Sorry to any epileptics, epileptics out there. <laughs> Finally, peace returns to Hyrule. This ends the story. Yeah, until you realize that, you know, a bunch of shitheads are trying to revive him in the next game. <laughs> I might actually redo that one at some point. Because I've done it before, like, years ago. But I, I might have some new material and some new, new things for it. Who knows? But that's the first pet quest of The Legend of Zelda. Uh, the second quest, see? Hey, another quest will start from here. Ah, 86, wow. Uh. Oh, but goddamn. So, that's the first quest, Legend of Zelda. I will be doing the second quest at some point. Um, you know, here and there. Probably intersperse it with the other two games I'm going to be having going. Well, well, Super Win the Game, I just started up before this video. And the Bionic Commando Trilogy, which is going to be coming out in February. <laughs> so I'll probably intersperse it with, with those as well. Okay, so that's enough for me. Uh, again, like I said, second quest will be coming up soon, hopefully. Uh, along with the other stuff that I'm planning on, so uh, stick around for those. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed it. I uh, hope you guys don't mind me like poking around with like the format in, in, in terms of like recording format. Um, if you guys like it, let me know. If you guys don't like it, uh, let me know. Um, because, you know, I want to make I want to make the best thing for you guys. And I don't know what you guys like, what you guys don't like if you don't tell me. Uh, so uh, if you like if you like the on-screen thing, kind of kind of like a, a Markiplier thing, uh, let me know. If you prefer to keep my ugly mug out of it and just stick to my voice, then let me know. <laughs> um, well, well, if you're in the if you're in the latter camp, then uh, Super Win the Game is just going to be vo voice only. Uh, Bionic Commando Trilogy, I'm thinking, I'm I'm still debating between being on camera and being voice only. Honestly, at this point, I'll probably well by the time you see the first one go up, you'll know. Um, so yeah, that's that's it. I've rambled on long enough, and you guys have been staring at that long enough. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. And until then, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.